What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're taking a look at a game called Vambrus Cold Soul. An animated game that's very much drawing from the likes of Darkest Dungeon and other dungeon delving adventures with a new coat of paint. Today we're going to check it on out and see what the game's got going on. The embargo on this video drops on Sunday, I believe, so it's more than likely when you're going to see this video. But people say Darkest Dungeon, I get interested. You know, Darkest Dungeon 2 is coming out. Maybe we need something to hold us in between 1 and 2. It is a long wait. And so let's check out Vambra, shall we? I will begin on the top slot, because I want to be the top dog in adventuring. Let's go. Let's do this thing. Is there going to be talking? See, I always get going with a monologue, and then they cut me off. They'd be like, long ago, and then I go, oh, like that. That's my gimmick. That's my shtick. I just rat it on my own process. All right, so here we are. All right. This is the place I told you guys about. Looks like the spooks got here first. Was it really worth leaving our regular path to come all the way out here? We're not patrolling today. Besides, if we don't find more supplies soon, we're going to all be in trouble. You got a better suggestion? Hey, I'm not the one that's going to have to tell Celeste we came back empty-handed. Shut your pie holes. Who knows what's lurking about up here. Just look around and see if you can find anything useful. See, she's she's my favorite so far. I thought she had a cigarette, though, for a second. That would have made her, if she had a cigarette, it would, have made, it would have made her my favorite out of everybody else. Everybody loves, in anime, the coolest character is always the character with a bent cigarette. That's the way that it goes. That's how it works. If you're in an anime, and you're wearing, like, a ruffled suit, and you've probably got some kind of, like, cane sword or something, I don't know, some hybridized sword weapon, and you've got, like, a bent cigarette, you're always the cool character that shows up when everything is lost. Check out the tutorial graphic above, and let's move out. That was oddly fourth wall breaking. Your character can move left or right on the field. The command box in the bottom left displays interactive objects with the environment around you. The command box in the bottom right displays inventory bio codex. Okay, we could have figured that out. All right. Cool. Sweet. Sounds good. Da -da -da. Into the dungeon. So we've got Sarge, we've got Private Wedge, and we've got Private big so we got ourselves a little final fantasy slash star wars reference here all right uh, a door is it locked open it already keep your guard up interaction icons represent a variety of ways you can engage with the environment around you okay Pred x on the interaction means you can neither access the area nor engage with the object you need to hold the interact button to complete the action all right cool so let's go to the door what's the interact button Ah, it's the E button. I was going to say, I thought I just clicked on it, but I was wrong. I was wrong. So that's inaccessible. There's a frozen lady over there. Uh, I found something. It looks like a chest of some kind. Well, what are you waiting for? All right, here goes. I forgot how to open it. What? Oh, mother, help me. It's a miracle I've survived this long in the company of fools. Just press and hold the button indicated in the tutorial graphic, and voila. It's usually a good idea to give someone with high slight in your team to do the dirty work. Okay, so containers like this have loot. The character who has high slight will have a chance of opening the chest and finding loot. Scavengers with low slight may have difficulty opening chests and will find less loot. Okay, so how do I pick, like... How do I pick who the person is that's going to interact with this object? Do I line them up? Nope, I don't line them up. Okay, let's go back this way. Hold on. Everybody come back this way. Line up again. Line up again. By my shiny neck jewel, we will open this chest. Junk. Goody. One man's junk is another man's treasure. We've also got scrap metal. Okay. And then we've got rope and thread. And then we've got the All Mother's Rosary. Can only be equipped by the Dragoon and the Fencer. Health max plus 11 changes Flourish to Prey. That's pretty dope, though, because that's an Akuma necklace. I'm all down with an Akuma necklace. That's all I've ever wanted is just to be swole as hell and just walk around town with, like, a giant Akuma necklace on. The chests here are different from the ones back in Adina. Forget the chest. You can check your inventory and character bios as indicated in the next tutorial graphic. All right. Man, we are, like, breaking the fourth wall right now. I think I'm okay. See, we didn't pick this stuff up. We did, I, I pressed the E key because I had a choice between E and R, and I wasn't sure which was going to do what. And so I pressed, like, one of them. I don't remember which at this point because I'm stupid. But, like, it's freezing out here. You think the spooks are getting close? Did you forget to bring the Geistometer again? We should keep going. No use going back the way they came if we are. Stay put for too long and they're going to catch up. Remember, if your health or vigor drops to zero, we'll be the one spook in this place. Let's go. I feel uneasy. This place gives me the creeps. All right, so we've got health, 
Okay, they die if they get down to zero. The yellow bars are vigor. We die if that gets down to zero. And then flourish points, apparently, we get through critical action bonuses and finishing turns. All right. The infrasonic totem. You spring a trap that spreads infrasonic waves, causing you strange tension. So we've got health minus two and hand tremors. All right, another trap. It's best to have someone with high awareness stat in your team to avoid them. There are dangerous features of Ice Nair. Your party leader or the entire team could incur damage from an activated trap. Characters with a high awareness will warn your party of imminent dangers and allow you to avoid unexpected casualties from traps. Characters with low awareness will trigger traps more easily. So you're saying people like me. That's what you're saying. I feel I feel targeted right now. Some actions have a probability of failure. When you see this green script, it means your attempt was a success. And then if you get a red one, you failed. And then a gray one means you missed. All right, that sounds good. Blue means you got a critical. Okay. Sounds like a plan, man. I don't want to, like, scare anybody, but, like, we're not inside the building anymore. I just saw something move in the distance. Get your weapons ready and think fast. Let's make sure we all get home today. I'm ready. Oh, we've got banditos. Alright, so we have hostile enemies. Our team is on the left, they're on the right. Obviously, there's four slots. Okay. The bottom bar is turn order. Oh, okay, so they've got little icons right there. Gotcha. So they get the first two turns, and then he'll get the turn, and then he'll get it. Okay, I see how it works. Alright, so we have normal skills, and we have... Ah, we'll figure it out on the way. Whatever. All right, so it's your turn first. What abilities do you have? We have, like, these are three range types, short range, mid range. Wow, this game is really tutorial heavy. I'm sure we can figure this out. So it looks like I can target whoever I want right there. In addition, what does that do? It's just guarding? Okay. Like, we need tool tips. Uh, that's definitely something that's required. When you mouse over these, a little box should pop up and tell you what it does. Like, I know it's somewhat obvious here. Like, you can attack the front two rows with the sword, or you can guard. But I'm just saying. Oh, cool. I like the animation. That looks good. Hey, he missed. Nice. We blocked him with our shield. Hell yeah. Uh, get the guy in the front. Yeah. There you go. Take his ass out. Definitely with the little death animation, with the little icon and everything. They're definitely drawing on, like, Darkest Dungeon right there. You can definitely see the influence. That dude just like ran at me like a Flintstone, like with his legs like doodly 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 doodly, doodly like running all over to my side. Okay, never mind. Maybe it's just me. Let's throw some ninja stars at these cats. Yeah, there you go. Oh, we critted him. Hell yeah. So the body stays there. Can we attack the body? So it looks like we can attack the back line if the front lines are gone, even if not denoted. I guess so there's no body moving mechanic it looks like you just got to cleave your way through the enemy lines in order to get it taken care of do we get XP or anything or is it just like loads and loads of dead guys over here I feel kind of bad that we dropped that loot I guess I picked the wrong one between E and R I told you guys I had a bad feeling about this place you're the one that insisted we come out here to begin with by all means continue quarreling amongst yourselves if you want to be ice pops we have the spoils we came for, and it's colder than a witch's tit out here. I, for one, am ready to return. Hold up. I see a body. It looks like a, uh, a girl. Who is it? Mm -hmm. She's not from Dale Arch. I don't recognize her, and no other scavenging teams came up today either. Well, we can't help her now. Search the body. Seriously? You search her. Wait, she's still breathing. We should help her. Who knows how long she's been out here? You want to bring her back? You crazy? We have no clue who she is. She could be with the green flame for all we know. She doesn't look like one of them. We can't risk compromising Dale Arch's location. Celeste is going to have our heads, and what if she knows how to cast that strange magic? We don't have to worry about that. She's unconscious. Captain Lanville will decide her fate. Looks like it's your lucky day, girl. I once read... A man would have to go below the waves to understand the true scale of an iceberg. Reminds me of you, dear father. I confess I never really knew you. After all, how does one get the measure of a man when there's so much beneath the surface? Nevertheless, I owe my survival of Zumurud's blistering deserts and the wild forests of Sylvia to your training. 
When I was summoned home to Edina in order to read your last will and testament, I didn't know what to expect. I suppose it comes as no surprise you remained a mystery even in death. I now find myself beckoned to the dwarven realm of Darkheim by the encrypted journal and ancient relic you left behind. On an expedition to the cursed city of Isenair for answers you never provided. I shall not be daunted. My determination is equal to the task at hand. If, as you say, this Vambrace is the key to entering that forbidden city. I will find what I seek. My journey has been difficult. Since the Vambrace entered my possession, I have been plagued by unsettling dreams of a go 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 ghostly blade cutting me down. You gotta watch out for those go 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 ghostly blades. You gotta watch out for them, man. They'll be coming at you. Sometimes they'll be spinning off near your headline and just be like, yeah, stay away from me, go 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 ghost blade. A little Scooby Doo action up in there. Zoinks. <coughs> Oof, my head. Glad you could join us, Sleeping Beauty. Who are you? Let's make this very clear. I'm the one asking questions. You can start with your name. My name is Lyric, Avelia Lyric. I'm Lanville Esquire. You're lucky we found you. A moment later, you'd be another piece of frozen decor gracing the streets. This guy is a knight and a lawyer at the same time? I have accomplished so little with my life. Imagine being both landed gentry and also a lawyer at the same time. Like a warrior and a lawyer at the same time. A war weir. A war. A a laurier. There we go. I think it goes better the other way. A laurier. I had to sound it out real fast, though. I must have fainted. I've never felt a chill like that before. We are unfortunately well acquainted with it here. Celeste had half a mind to leave you up there. Good for you. She's not calling the shots, and I was feeling generous. Up there? So we're underground. Looks like I've got a sharp one on my hands. I took the liberty of searching your stuff. A bunch of climbing gear, strange book nobody can read. Explain it. I came seeking answers about my father, the late Dr. Nicolau Lyric. I traveled here from Medina with his journal. Right. Everybody knows that nobody goes in and nobody ever comes out of Eisnare. Eisnare? You mean that I'm here? I actually made it inside the city? Suppose for a minute that I entertain your absurd story. How the hell did you get past the Frostfell? That barrier around the city? Well, I walked through it. Enough of this. You think I haven't seen what happens when somebody touches it? Instant death. The only freaks wandering the surface are either the spooks, mad survivors, or the green flame. You're not dead, and as far as I can tell, you're still sane. So, let's cut to the chase. What's your connection with the green flame? Oh, I'm speaking for her now. I don't know them. The green what? The Green Flame, the Arconic cult hell-bent on destroying the Guardian Alliance. That ring any bells, or have you been living under a rock? They're the ones responsible for this frozen curse, yeah? I can assure you that I'm not with them. I just got here. You're serious, aren't you? Well, imagine my surprise to learn some Adini decided to take a leisure stroll on the surface. Listen, I have a matter of great urgency. I'm looking for an individual named Zaquar. Do you know of him? Nah, there's nothing left for us to discuss right now. But I am feeling gracious, so I'm going to tell you what. I'm giving you tentative permission to move about Dale Arch until I figure out what to do with you. Dale Arch? That's the name of our lovely abode here deep below Eisenair. Welcome to paradise. You're just letting me go? There's nowhere to run, so you might as well make yourself at home. In fact, here, take this. You're going to need some if you want to survive down here. What's this? We call it Hellion. It's the only currency worth anything down here. Consider it a welcome gift. I've never seen paper money. Try anything funny and you're dead in a cellar right back on the surface where we found you. We clear? Crystal. I'm famished. Is there anything to eat down here? So I can run while I'm in Dale Arch. Oh yeah, there we go. We can like sprint around. Nah, 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 nah. Speedy girls in the dungeon. Okay. 
and I talk to this dude because he's got dope armor. Like, if I had armor, that's what I would want my armor to look like. The captain's finished with you, huh? Yeah, that was fast. Please wait while I process the paperwork. Apparently, I've got to wait while he does the paperwork. How to keep your body warm. One, make a fire. Stand in front of it. Three, be warm. You don't say. Hmm. Keep your distance from her. You're bound to lose a limb. That's Isabel Salazar. Woman knows black magic. Consider yourself warned. Can't place her, but for some reason she looks so familiar. The frost wind howls around you, and your presence here will bring much anguish. Wait, what? I don't understand. Your paperwork's done. Scram before we change our mind. So do we normally just, like, burn chairs around here? Is that something that was just perfectly good furniture? Oh, there's, like, a little map. Oh, we, like, walk around on it. Look, we're like a little, we're like a little Final Fantasy guy on a world map. The Eldritch Library. Who are you? No time to talk. I'm in the middle of some very important research now. Who is this guy? The books in the library look ancient. Please don't touch anything in here. These tomes are very delicate. You found a page of the Codex. All right. That's the sound we make when we find a page of the Codex, apparently. I've never found a page of a Codex before, so this guy's a real bookworm. Huh. There we go. Yep, that's it. We've done the science. The sound that you make when you find a page of the Codex is... Ah. You gotta. Apparently, it's really, really interesting. In real life, I've never found a page of a Codex before, though, so I don't know. Da -da 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 I guess I'll go to the little exclamation point, since that seems to be what they want me to do. Halt, you're not permitted to be roaming around here. Calm yourself. This is my dear friend. Don't you recognize her? I'm sorry, but I'm not talking in that goofy old English. I can't do it. I can't do it. That goofy old English anime voice, be like, calm yourself, good sir. This is my dear friend. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Another girl, eh? You tricky bastard. I still need to check her papers, though. I always don't need to bother with that. I can vouch for her. After all, a friend of mine is a friend of the North Venture Company. All right, all right, go on. Who is this smooth talker? What gorgeous eyes the lady has. Mahora, I'm relic hunting extraordinaire at your service. Sorry, but isn't that just a fancy way to say that you're a thief of antiquities? You've offended my sensibilities with your words. I'm merely a humble adventurer who got stuck in the wrong place at the wrong time. Yeah, thanks for defending me at the market gate. My name's Lyric. Why did you help me? I got a quick ear, m'lady. Life here can be difficult for an outlander unfamiliar with our strange ways. Forgive me. You gotta be famished. Let me take you to the market. That's one offer I won't refuse. Come on, follow me. <laughs> he even walks like a scumbag. <laughs> this dude is definitely gonna betray us. Hey, Yasol, this is Lyric, my dear friend since, uh, today. She's gawking at me. Hey, Saul, huh? That's a pretty name. How can I help you two? You have anything to eat? I can pay in gold. We don't use gold here, m'lady. Don't you have any Hellion? Hellion? Fox here traditionally burn it as an offering to our ancestors. It's now the currency of choice for the spooks. You mean this, right? Lanville gave me some. Great. Should we make a deal? Anything in particular you're looking for? Dale Arches survivors of sober wraiths conduct trade using a paper currency called Hellion. You need to scavenge to sell supplies you found to get more. Switch between the shopwares in your inventory to buy or sell items. Merchant tree represents your ability to negotiate. Okay. Uh, is that my Hellion right there? What is that thing? We've got Sylvani tea, a tea brewed from the highland leaves of Sylvia. Secures befuddled and hypothermia. We've got gecko tail skewer, health minus one, vigor plus one. Or yeah, okay. We've got a splint, which is for fractured and sprain. A centipede stick. So do we just, like, mostly eat bugs down here? Is that what we do? The syrupy concoction smooths the throat and brings the music in your voice, hoarse and sleepy. Could use some of that right now myself. A stimulant to arouse the consciousness of weary travelers, faint and hallucinating. And then Natsiri Fire Brew. The infamous Natsiri drink burns all the way down. Keeps you warm, so it gets rid of terrified and frostbitten. All right. I'll be seeing you around. Stop right there. Hey, Lady Celeste, what brings you to our quiet corner of Dale Arch? What are you doing out of prison? 
Uh, maybe there's a misunderstand? Shut your mouth, Mahorum. Guards, arrest her. What? I honestly didn't think you were going to make it when we dumped you in that cell. Celeste, right? Lanville mentioned your team found me. Save the pleasantries. I don't trust you as far as I can throw you. Regardless, you have my thanks. You received no charity from us. My team found you on the street. Thought you might be a green flame agent we could interrogate. Good intel is kind of hard to come by nowadays. I understand everybody's suspicions, but I already told Lanville that I have no connection with them. Am I to believe that you just waltzed into Eisner? That's ridiculous. The frost fell surrounding the city kills anything that touches it. We have Isabel to thank for that wretched gift that keeps on giving. I just saw her in the prison. What does she have to do with all this? You can stop playing coy. I'm not buying your act, lady. If what Lanville said is true, I'm the first person to enter the city in a year. Nobody outside has the slightest clue of what's happening here. You want to know what really happened? We were the fools that got caught in the middle of a civil war. Between who? Tensions between the dwarves and the drifters as old as the city itself. We never imagined Eisner would devolve into total chaos. Green Flame had been here stoking tensions for months, if not years, and when the time came, they seized the moment and orchestrated a decisive coup. In whose name? The King of Shades. He cursed this place and keeps an iron grip on it, but I'm sure that's no surprise to you. After all, you show up now? It's kind of convenient, right? Maybe Lanville believes your little sob story, but you ain't fooling me. You got the wrong idea about me. I came here in good faith. Too bad, because you're marching right back into the prison cell, and you're going to learn to get real cozy with that witch friend of yours. Ma'am, we have a problem. Can't you see I'm in the middle of something? There's a mad wraith in Dale Arch. What? How's that even possible? It's at the ascending room. Please come. Just my luck. I don't think this changes anything. You are coming with me. Alright, let's go check out an ice wraith. Let's go see what it looks like. Surely it can't be- Oh my god, there's so many of us. This isn't gonna go well. Everybody, stand back. That's no ordinary spook. It's gone mad. Warg! Watch out! <laughs> Celeste, what's going on here? Captain, it appears the spooks hitched a ride to Dalarge in the ascending room. Who was on duty? We lost two souls here. There are no witnesses as to how they got in, sir. We arrived a moment too late. Lyric, uh, stopped it. Is that so? I guess your theory that she was with the green flame didn't age very well. What say you now? I, uh, we shouldn't jump to any conclusions, sir. Nonsense. Get these men to the Sylvani Healing Hall and be discreet about it. We don't need to cause an unnecessary panic. Post some guards on the surface. Lyric, meet me in the war room at the Guardian's barracks. There's somebody that wants a word with you. There's been a lot of word exchanging. Like, we've been talking a lot. I want to get back to dungeon diving. Let's kill something. I'm all, I'm down for world building, but I'm an impatient man. I like to fight. I want to stack up some gear. I want to get some gear, I want to armor some characters, step on some booby traps, find some treasure. Welcome to the headquarters of the Alliance Guardians. Our mission is to maintain order in Dale Arch until we discover a solution to the crisis. Alright. Anybody else around here got anything useful to say? It's a lot of stairwells. It's not in there. The chamber belongs to our leader, Commander Zaquard Ventru, is strictly off limits. Isn't that the guy that we were looking for at the beginning? She said something about a dude named Zaquard. That's all I'm saying. I don't have a good memory, but that's a weird name, and I recall it. Hold on, give me that. I don't know why I want that, but I'm picking it up. What's over here? Hold on, I gotta loot your room. Give me a second. Let me be clear, I don't trust you as far as I can throw you. Well, it looks like I'm the least of your worries around here. I don't know how you got through Frostfell, but my gut is telling me something is off. You may be in Landville's good graces, but respect is earned in my books. Good, that makes the two of us. Got my eyes on you. Wait, isn't this where I'm supposed to be? Where's Landville at? Landville! Landville! There we go. Landville said you come. They're waiting for you. Please proceed. Alright, let's go. I didn't notice the doors, alright? Doors are hard for me. I struggle. What is this? This is a city map. It looks like the Guardians have profiled the most important people in the city. Yes. I don't know how it happens, sir, but we're making every effort to... Uh, Lyric, glad you could join us. I'd like to introduce you to our steam leader, Zaquard Ventru. Zaquard? You're who I'm looking for. I can hardly believe you're standing here right now. Excuse me, though. Apologies for interrupting. I'm just pleased to make your acquaintance, sir. Please call me Zaquard. The cabinet has informed me of your unusual arrival. 
I've got a lot of questions, but they'll have to wait. Why does Zayquard look like he's like 14 years old? Like, how did he... He looks like a 30-foot-tall 14-year-old. Like, how did he become the captain of the guard over a man with a beard? That's all I'm saying. The other guy has a beard. He's capable of growing facial hair. That means he should be the leader. Yeah, I'm sorry to cut this introduction short, but we have an ongoing situation. Isabel Salazar escaped her cell and left Dale Arch. She murdered our guards and allowed a mad wraith into Dale Arch, putting many lives at risk. But I just saw her briefly while having my paperwork done. She even spoke to me as I was leaving. What? She hasn't spoken in a year. Remember what she said? I didn't pay much heed to her at the time. Who is she? The witch is one of the Shade King's prime lieutenants. If she gets away, she's going to compromise Dale Arch's location. If that happens, nothing is going to save us. Then forgive me for asking, but why aren't you pursuing her right now? We tried. We were unable to follow her through the frost fence, though. She used her magic to bypass it. Frost fence? There's smaller barriers conjured from the same magic as the frost fell. The green flame uses them to limit our access to certain sectors of ice and air. They, too, are deadly to the touch. But that wouldn't be an issue for you, would it, Lyric? Sir? It's true. I walked through the frost fell. I could do so through the power of the vambrace. But you already knew that, didn't you? How did you come to possess this thing? My late father left it to me. His final letter bid me to seek you out in this cursed place. This vambrace, he said, was the key to coming here. It allowed me to bypass the Frostfell harmlessly. But your father happened to be the esteemed Dr. Nicolau Lyric? One and the same. How could you possibly know that? Well, because we already interrogated you. He's a renowned scholar and his research on the Archons is unsurpassed. I'm well versed on his works. Now before me stands a woman bearing his namesake and carrying a relic of Archonic design. Even I can connect the dots on that one. You recognize this thing? It's called the Aether Brace. It's a powerful relic. I'm not sure Lyric realized the value of what she possesses. If what you say is true, she could give it to us, and we could use it to turn the tide against the King of Shades. It's not that simple. I can't take it off. I've tried everything short of cutting off my arm. Lyric, you need answers, and I'm willing to help you, but our priority right now is finding Isabel. Can you lead a party past the Frost Fence to find her? This isn't my first tracking mission. I'll help, and when I come back, we need to talk. You'll need a place to prepare before deploying. Take the scroll of consent and tell Helga, the lost lady in I sent you. She'll make sure you have a space. My scouts informed me Isabel was moving north towards the entertainment district. We'll send some guardians with you to the surface to help, of course. If you're looking for cell swords, you might have some luck at the recruitment board. In the meantime, I'll make sure the ascending room is set for your next destination. Leave it to me. Alright. So I assume that, like... I don't know, the game is wonderfully well animated. Like, we're running out of time for this episode, and it's a little unfortunate. Like, we're running out of time, but, like, I love the animation of the game and everything. I'm not usually a big fan of, like, anime-style stuff, but the game looks good. It looks, like, really good. The UI design is gorgeous. Like, the music is alright. Like, the graphics are good. I want to play the game, though, so I think we're going to have to do a second episode on this one. So give me a day or so, and I'll get it cooked up. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for hanging out for a little while. This game is called Vambrace. I got a link for you down below if you wanted to purchase the game for yourself. If you enjoyed this video, hit it with a like, and I will see you all later. This is Splattercat signing off. Hi to everybody.